Okay, well, welcome, uh, Eugene Parker, again back with Chris Conti. Yes, yes. Very nice to see you. Very nice to be uh, here. We are excited. Again, the fourth edition of the Chi Town Multicultural Film Festival. Uh, Mr. Conti, tell us a little bit about your piece. Give us the name of your film uh, and maybe some inspiration uh, for this piece. Okay, uh, well, I'm the director of Conversation Centered Around Black Bodies, Black Lives Matter. Um, and it is the first of a collection of vignettes that explore different perspectives and intersections within the black community and how the black community intersects with other communities. Um, and for me, the inspiration was my own personal feelings and conflicting perspectives that I had on, on certain things and seeing you know, all these videos of, of black people shut down by police and, and violence in the streets and exploring how that made me feel and what that brought up for me. Um, and me and my partner would talk about it and have conversations and you know, sort of explore the, the different intricacies and differences that we had uh, from our different perspectives. And, and that grew and grew into, into these, these short vignettes that just feature two people talking about serious subjects. And I was going to ask you about that. You, you just had two characters uh, in there. Were you ever kind of pushed to add and, and, and have a collective, kind of a, uh, a racial reconciliation forum? Because eight or ten years ago, that was going on a lot. Folks were sitting at the table, kind of a panel, and saying, hey, mm -hmm. let's break the myths. You're from Nebraska, but... Is there alcoholism happening in Nebraska? And I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Yeah, I think um, it, it, knowing that I was going to do a series of vignettes helped me to feel comfortable saying, like, okay, this is one person in one scene. I don't need him to encompass everyone. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. At the same time, I want to bring different, uh, you know, I don't want him to be a flat character or, or a flat person, really, because he's more of a person than a character. Um, so... The, the actor brings a bit of himself to the table. I bring a bit of myself to the actors. Uh, even my DP and my sound guy, my light, like everybody has a piece of themselves in this film and in all the vignettes. And actually in the future, because I don't want it to just be my voice and my perspective uh -huh. mm -hmm. controlling everything, I would love to see other people do their own, shoot their own vignettes sure. with their own perspectives and have it be a part of this collection. So the platform, uh, of course, you'll be putting this into some other film festivals. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you want to do? Or have you already submitted to some yeah, and we, been selected? We, uh, this, I believe this is the fifth festival we've screened at. Um, so we're, we're sort of, I think, winding down uh, the festival run for this vignette. But I just finished the second vignette. And so I'm going to start back at square one for the festival circuit for that one. Okay, uh, okay. And then eventually try to get funding to just keep doing this. And so doing the short films and doing the vignettes, have you thought about putting some, some real life stories together uh, into some feature films or something? Um, the idea of a feature is enticing. It sounds, uh, it, it's a little difficult to, to imagine how exactly to, to stretch it. For that far without losing the audience. One idea that I played with uh, was having people come together at a table, say like a Thanksgiving mm -hmm. dinner, and all the different people who come, the different family members and the, the guests of family members and mm -hmm. the different perspectives that, that that brings. So, so I've, I've considered that. Um, also in, in the other vignettes that we've worked on, we've used uh, real stories to start as the catalyst for the conversation. So the second one mm -hmm. um, is a direct response to Corinne Gaines being shot and, and the difference between you know, feeling that uh, you know, people thought maybe she was mentally ill and she was, she was acting in a way that was too militant and too aggressive and, and she sort of brought her death upon herself while other people were sympathetic and said like, well, this is still, this is a mother who was shot in front of her son and you know, did she put her son in danger or was she trying to protect her child? Um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that aspect of real life, something that really happened that, that the audience can have their own opinions. They come to the table with their opinions and then, you know, hopefully they're either represented or challenged with the, with the piece. Got you. So, your hometown's New York. And so now here in Chicago, that's what's up. Uh, share with me, um, what was some, was there motivation? Because that's a film town. 
And so Chicago is starting to blow up with, with indie films and things like that. Did you want to come to the front lines content-wise? Um, a personal kind of thing? You, you the, yeah, the, the, there's a mix. There's a bit of a, the, the first and foremost, uh, I'm here in Chicago because my partner is a Chicago native and uh, she came to New York for, for school. I met her, fell in love, and, uh, you know, I, she was coming back, so I, I couldn't And what's stay. her name? Jessica Dean Turner. Hi, Jessica. It's my homegirl over there. <laughs> Anyway, go, but go ahead. <laughs> yes, but, uh, but also secondary um, is I think, I think Chicago has a special sort of theater scene. I mean, mm -hmm. New York obviously has its own theater scene, but from what I've experienced, Chicago's theater scene is more accessible, and it's just a different atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And I have a dream of combining theater and film to make uh, cinematic theater or theatrical cinema. Yeah, yeah, um, that's good stuff. And I think, I think this has a place in cinematic theater. My vignettes, can, I can see them on stage. I can see them on film. I can see some kind of crossbreed with them. So I wanted to be here. I think, I think Chicago is a great place to, to start yeah. that. Well, uh, the film was just dynamic. We really had a good time. Uh, we appreciate you coming out. You Welcome to Chicago. Thank we you. look forward to seeing the next set of vignettes. Um, keep your eyes out. Chris Conti, Chicagoan, Cub fan, <laughs> Bulls fan. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're going to warm them up. <laughs> Thanks again, Chris. Thank you. All right, take care.